Hey guys, Annika, welcome to my channel. I'm covering up my boobs. <laughs> So today I'm on my floor. I wasn't going to film an intro, but now I guess I am. Today I'm going to be doing my concealer powder foundation collection. It's the third drawer down in my Alex store. So I figured that I would just show you. Recently I've been like on a foundation kick. I have a bunch of foundations and a bunch of new concealers and a lot of powders. So yeah, it's kind of a chaotic drawer, but let me give you like a little overview. So right here I keep my concealers and I keep like a few extra beauty sponges. Right here I keep all of my powders. I have like bigger compacts, loose powders, etc. Etc. Here I have all my standing up foundations. I want them to be able to stand up so that they don't separate. And then here I have my some of them are tube foundations. I have a cooking cooking. Fuck me. I have a cushion foundation. I have a stick foundation. BB creams. Whatever the fuck. You know, you know that kind of deal. So I'm gonna like zoom you guys in and let's get popping. So first I'm gonna be talking about my concealers. Just I don't know. They're right here and I just so this little container right here is from the container store. It's just kind of like a little carton thing. I cut it a while ago. I regret doing it, but it doesn't need to be cut to fit in the drawer. So in here I have all of my concealers, as I mentioned before. So I'm not gonna, should I just go through all of them? I will really fast. I have the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I really do like this a lot. It's very full coverage. It's a little bit light for me. So I'd say if you're any lighter than I am, then don't get this shade. Get light, which is what Rihanna has and she likes it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the shade 15, which is fair. I love this concealer. I think it's an awesome option from the drugstore. I have the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the shade L3 Warm. Again, I love this. This is one of my holy grail high-end foundations. Foundations. Yep. Concealers. Here I have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Not like a huge fan of it, but like it's fine. I have the Maybelline Master Conceal, which is my favorite drugstore concealer of all time. I'm in the shade 10. Then I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I love Maybelline concealers. They're so good. I have that in the shade 10. And then a Maybelline concealer that I actually didn't like is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which which just looks like this. I'm in the shade Fair Claire, which is a little bit, oh, it's not Fair Claire, it's just fair. But I do like this as a foundation. It's just a little bit pink for me. I don't like it as a concealer though. I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which I actually found in a dumpster. I'm in the shade Medium, and this is such a good full coverage foundation. I have two color correctors, one from NYX, which I found in a dumpster, and one from Essence. I really like the NYX one. It's very, very pigmented and very, very green. The Essence one is a little bit less pigmented, so it's easier for like just little red spots and you won't have to cover it up with that much foundation. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm in the shade Light. I have a mini Naked Skin, which I got for my Costa Rica trip, which I'm going on soon. I just wanted to see, like, because it's small. I don't know. I have this Ulta concealer that I got in a dumpster. It's a little bit too dark for me, so I like to mix it with concealers that are a little bit too light. I have two beauty blenders. One's from Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know, dude. They're both off-brand. <laughs> you wish. I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which I do really like. It's just not really my color. I have this lipstick that I found in a dumpster that I've been meaning to try and use as a color corrector, but I just don't think that it's gonna work out. I have this Urban Decay concealer pencil that I got in a dumpster, and then the last concealer I have is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I fucking love of this concealer. This is like one of my favorite concealers of all time. Now that there's a bunch of concealer in my blab. Uh, I'm so moist. I really like concealers if you can't tell. So now that we have concealers, we're gonna move on to my foundations. These are my standing up foundations. I also have my laying down foundations. The majority of these are drugstore. Oh look. The majority of these are drugstore just because high-end foundations are expensive. I think I only have two high-end foundations actually. Yeah, I only have two high-end foundations. So first I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind like foundation. I have the concealer which I use as foundation. I haven't tried this. I've tried it once and it was fine. Like it was chill. Then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, which is my favorite high-end foundation of all time. I think it's my favorite foundation ever. I have the Maybelline Dream Mousse in the shade Classic Ivory Light 2. I don't know if they still make this. It's a little bit old. It's also a little bit dark for me, but I really like this. I really like the consistency of it. I have the Maybelline Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I have this in the shade 01. They just came out with a 00, and I fucking need it because, girl, I am white. I am fucking white, and this is way too dark for me. If I wear this, I literally look like an Oompa Loompa, but, you know, 
know what? You win some, you lose some. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I'm in the shade R230. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I just feel like it breaks up on my skin a lot. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Shell Ivory. Bitch, this is fucking holy water. This is the blood of Christ. Like, literally, it's so good. I got mine from Walmart. I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Oil-Free Foundation, I guess. I'm in the shade Porcelain. This is the lightest shade. I really like this. I've tried it once so far, and it's good so far. I'm so fucking hungry. I feel sick. You guys know when you're so hungry that you start to feel sick. Next, I have the CoverGirl Clean Complete Matte Concealer. I got this at Ulta for, like, $4. Girl, this is really good. Like, who knew that CoverGirl was actually good? Who fucking knew? I would bang. Then I have the Wet n Wild True Match Lumi Luminous Healthy Makeup in the shade C3 cool it's a little bit dark for me it's fine i've tried it once it's just like it's nothing to write home about but it's not a bad foundation by any means and then i have the maybelline fit me so i have the matte and poreless and the dewy and smooth both are in 110 but i swear to god the dewy and smooth is a little bit darker yeah you can totally see that i wonder why so those are all my like standing up foundations i'm gonna eat some food and then i'm gonna come back and i will go through my lying down foundation and my powders okay so right here in this container i have all of my setting powders and powder foundations they're supposed to be like lined up like this but bitch no first i'm gonna start off with the maybelline better skin powder foundation it's skin transforming powder this is a really nice powder actually the only thing that i don't like about it is the damn packaging like what the fuck it's half of like the sponge thing that nobody ever uses but the powder is so so soft it feels like butter it sets really nicely it prevents creasage good powder 10 out of 10 would bang then i have my tony moly cat swink compact in the shade zero one my room is so cold so this is what it looks like again this is a really nice powder i feel like it sets my makeup really well and the packaging is very cute then i have the smashbox photo filter creamy powder foundation i'm not a huge fan of this i found it in a dumpster so at least i didn't buy it but it's like nothing really special like i don't know it's like a powder i sometimes use it when i want more coverage because it is a powder foundation then i have the maybelline fit me powder this is in the shade 130 this is not a matte and poreless one it's kind of janky because i hit like hard paint on it because i think i got it wet by accident i don't know it is a nice powder this was like my first powder that i ever got it's definitely not as soft as the maybelline better skin so if you're gonna get a maybelline one i recommend the better skin then i have this bare minerals powder which i got from an outlet mall it was like four dollars and fifty cents it has oh sorry it has little glitters in it which is really annoying but if it didn't have glitters in it i would love it so much because it is so smoothing and it makes your skin look so nice but it does have glitters and that's really annoying so if you find it i wouldn't get it actually four dollars and fifty cents maybe then i have the wet and wild pressed powder in the shade warm light i got this when i bought the foundation and like it's fine i think that i need to like get through a top layer or something because i feel like nothing is coming off when i wipe my finger on it so then i have the rimmel stay matte powder which is actually my favorite drugstore powder it's so soft the packaging is trash in fact i broke it as you guys may know but you know what it's chill and then i have this h&m powder because i heard kathleen light saying good things about the h&m brand but i didn't feel like getting a blush so i got a powder because it was on sale this is in the shade warm beige it looks like this it's like nice luxe packaging i really like it it snaps well it's pretty sturdy and then i have three loose powders i have that elf like that one that like everybody uses that's so small it's it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's fine. Then I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is like my favorite powder of all time. And then I have this NYX powder, which we know I'm not a huge fan of. And then I have the Wet n Wild Bronzer. <laughs> yep, this is a bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. Literally, Kathleen Lights is like the whitest person on earth, and she like says, who can use that as a bronzer? But I use it as a powder. And then I have a Wet n Wild Contour Palette Duo. So there's a contour and a palette, and this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. This is everything that is in my powder part and oh this thing is also from the container store it's a little bit deeper and then i have this last little tray that has all my like bottle two foundations whatever so last but not least i have all of my two foundations in this like little tray container that's also from the container store i have two of the l'oreal visible lift blur foundations one in the shade 203 and one in the shade 209 they're both a little bit dark for me but 203 does actually work for me hopefully 209 will work in the summer then i have the l'oreal infallible pro matte and pro glow foundations i've heard people talking about these i wanted to try them out for myself i feel like the matte breaks up on my skin but i've literally only tried it once so i'm not gonna talk then i have these it cosmetics cc creams that i found in a dumpster one of them is 
the bronzing one and one of them is like the normal one. The normal one is in the shade light. Then I have this mini Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream in the shade Desert Glow that I got in a dumpster. It's like a mini thing. I think it comes in like a set. It's not focusing, but it's, you're not missing out on much. Then I have the L'Oreal Dream Lumi Cushion, whatever the fuck, in C3. Again, a little bit dark. It is nice. People always rave about it, but I don't think it's like rave worthy. Like it's fine. Like I'll use it. But I, honestly, I think it's just too much of a hassle. Then I have this NYX BB Cream in the shade Fuck Me, and I found that in a dumpster. And then I have the Maybelline BB Cream in the shade I Crave Death. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in the shade Porcelain. So yeah, that's actually all of my foundations, concealers, and powders. Let me know what you guys want to see next. There will be a poll at the beginning of the video in the cards, which will be right up here. And it'll pull you on whether you want to see my setting spray drawer, which is actually my favorite drawer, fun fact. Looks like this, setting sprays and primers. Or if you want to see my blush bronzers drawer. So this one is just kind of unorganized and I like low-key don't even want to show it. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on...